I've been with the 4-H Horse and Pony for, this will be our fifth year that we've been in the group and the fourth year that my daughter's shown. And she decided she wanted to show to have some more fun, meet some friends and enjoy it a little bit. So we decided to come out and give it a try. It's nice to watch some of these kids that come in, they ride in and they learn all the different genres of, of that class and it's it just neat to watch them improve and, and enjoy. was a three-year-old when we rescued her. We rescued her last year. Um, before that, she'd been rescued as a yearling. She had her jaw broke when she was a yearling by her first abusers, and she went to a friend of mine who later broke her ankle and had to sell her to another girl. And I found her on Facebook, and we brought her home, and came to find out she was actually half blind. If you don't say something to her, she'll freak out, and it's not good at all. <laughs> This is Lucy. Um, she's about 28 years old. She's a registered quarter horse. Um, she has an avicular, so she just won't move her front feet correctly, and it does cause pain, so they do have to put special shoes on. It will be something that in, will be too painful her, for her later on, and she might have to be put down or be on some very strong painkillers. We were out on a trail ride at Midwest Trails and we were on a, it has a cliff side and I had her on her right side which is her blind side and she could not see that the cliff came off and she veered off to the side and lost footing on her right side. I leaned my weight to the left to throw her back onto the path and we managed not to fall down into the valley. Uh, she was just fine. There was no injuries, thankfully, but it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> I would do all of it again because I've never had a horse with as much try as she does. She never argues. She never will not do what I ask. She will always try her best. <laughs> 